Phil Taylor is back in World Championship action on Saturday night. Raymond Van Barnevold and Daryl Gurney are in action on Saturday at the World Darts Championship. But Phil Taylor will take center stage as the second round continues at Alexandra Palace. The power is back on the OCHE for the latest installment of his final tournament as a professional. And his match with Justin Pipe takes star billing in the evening session. But the afternoon session looks to be one to watch as well as some of the brightest young talents. In the game take aim at a place in the last 16. Rob Cross' unprecedented debut year has seen him arrive in North London as the fifth favourite with the bookmakers and he takes on 2013 World Youth Champion Michael Smith in the second match of the early session. Another young contender kicks off the day's action. 2014 Youth Champion Keegan Brown takes on Zoran Lurchbacher after both men took out seeded. Opposition in the first round, Brown dispatched James Wade while Lurchbacher accounted for Mervyn King. Steve West and Jermaine Watamino were also surprise first round winners and they conclude the afternoon before the big hitters come out to play. World number 4 Gurney kicks off the evening against John Henderson in a repeat of their World Grand pre-semi-final which Superchin won on his way to his first major title and then Taylor takes to the stage against Pipe, who struggled past preliminary qualifier Bernie Smith. Then Barnevold closes out the night against Kyle Anderson. So plenty to get through. The Sky Sports panel take us through the day. Afternoon session. 1 p.m. Live World Darts Championship live on Keegan Brown v Zoran Lurchbacher. Keegan Brown beat James Wade and has his sights set on a place in the last 16. Nigel Pearson, it's great to see Keegan Brown in the second round. When I first saw him on the big stage one thought he had loads of talent but he hasn't progressed as much as we all thought he would. He has admitted himself that he has had issues to deal with but he appears to be handling them and that is good to see. Lurchbacher was a bit of a surprise to some in the first round and I have seen him a few times. He has been a bit inconsistent, which could be a problem for him. With Keegan is a determined young man I think he will come through 4-2. Michael Smith v Rob Cross Rob Cross is making his world championship debut but is undaunted after a sensational year. Stuart Pike, what a game. And looking ahead the winner could be playing Daryl Gurney. It's a really juicy quarter of the draw. Rob was a little nervous in the first round because there is so much pressure on him after the year that he has had. People say he's a Premier League shoe-in but a run here will really help that. Michael Smith takes on voltage in the tie of the second round. Michael has sent up to his dart suppliers for new points and they've been brought down by Kyle Anderson on SOS. But Smith is such a mixed bag. The first two sets of his opener he was amazing and overall he hit 10,180s but there is not middle ground and that inconsistency might cost him over seven sets with the consistency that you need. I cannot see Smith beating Cross for whom consistency is what's given him success. Darts is looking for new stars and Rob Cross is one. His success shows that the system is working. Steve West v Jermaine Watamina. Jermaine Watamina's quickfire action is not to be missed. Wayne Martle, not the matchup we thought that was going to happen after their first round. Victories. Jermaine's win over Joe Cullen was an upset and the way he played under pressure was superb. I like how Steve plays. Even though he has a lighter throw and I was pleased for Steve. He came so close against Mervyn King last year. And there was a moment against Benito that looked like it might go the same was as last year. But he came through that. The pair of them will be confident. They will play at a pace that suits each other. White Amina is up there with Ricky Evans as the quickest I've ever seen. However, Jermaine is too inconsistent and that it has to improve to compete. The match is Steve's to win and I think he will. Evening session, 7 p.m. Live World Darts Championship live on Daryl Gurney v. John Henderson. 
Daryl Gurney faces John Henderson at Alexandra Palace. John Part, I like this match in terms of interest but in terms of what might happen. I am not so confident about what to predict. It will be an intense and gritty match. Hendo is such a gentleman that he wouldn't and didn't say anything about revenge but he will feel that he owes Daryl one. He has had a good year. Not for a top 10 player but for the range that he is in his year has been decent. Daryl is so confident at the moment and he is the better thrower. The better player. He is playing and winning more and more matches. I expect him to come through but I think Henderson will make it a good contest. John Henderson said he's not looking for revenge on round two opponent Daryl Gurney. After losing to Superchin in the Grand Prix John Henderson said he's not looking for revenge on round two opponent Daryl Gurney. After losing to Superchin in the Grand Prix Bill Taylor v Justin Pipe. The power saw off Chris Dobby and now faces Justin Pipe after Coughgate engulfed the world. Championship. Rod Studd. Coughing. If Justin had just won his first round game it was going to be hard enough with the wave of nostalgia of playing Phil. He was going to be the villain of the piece whatever happens and now he is the villain of the piece in capitals. Bold typeface and underlined. We all saw what happened. Only Bernie knows if he heard it, or not and I would be very surprised if the crowd don't let him and us know exactly what they thought of it. Wayne Martle branded Justin Pipe's act of coughing behind Bernie Smith during their first round. Match is disgusting Wayne Martle branded Justin Pipe's act of coughing behind Bernie Smith during their first round match is disgusting. A very difficult task for Justin has probably become nigh on impossible and Phil will revel in the situation and enjoy the other person getting it from the crowd. I think Phil was always going to win comfortably. I think he will now win even more comfortably and it will be a very, very tough night for Pipe. Raymond Van Barneveld v Kyle Anderson Five-time world champion Barney continues his bid for a first title since 2007. Wayne Martle, however long you want to go back, Barney is the odds-on. Red-hot favorite to beat Kyle Anderson. Not anymore. Anderson is now a very good player and has become a world-class player. Kyle has changed his action for the worse in my opinion. But it works for him and he feels more comfortable. We know that everyone can beat each other over 8, 9, 10 legs but Kyle can beat Barney in this format taking care of someone over an hour half. Winning important legs to avoid going 3 sets down and then taking out a 96 to level the match. That's real darts. Kyle has the game to do that but Barney's leg in. Leg out quality. His proven winning mentality tells you how difficult he is to beat. He has reached four of the last five world championship semifinals. Losing in last year's with a 109 average and I think he gets it done. The 2018 world championship from Alexandra Palace continues on Saturday with a double session. Coverage is underway from 1 p.m. on Sky Sports Darts with the evening session beginning at 7 p.m. Keep up to date with the news right through to the final on New Year's Day as the PDC celebrates 25 years on Sky Sports. So get all the latest at www.skysports.com. Darts and join in the conversation at Sky Sports Darts. Don't forget to use hashtag LoveTheDarts.